Example number three, demonstrating how U substitution works. In this case, we're going to evaluate the integral of two times the tangent of two x plus three dx. Our first step will to set u equal to the angle. Now typically when you are using u substitution, you want to use the variable u to represent any function that is contained within uh, another function. For example, in this case it's a trig function, so u would be the angle within the trig function. Find the differential. So knowing that we chose u to represent 2x plus 3, du will equal 2dx. And notice up here in the original integration, but we have a 2 and we have a dx. Rewrite the integral in terms of u to make the integration easier. So we had the integral of the tangent of u du. How did we arrive at that? Well, let me rewrite this integral up here as the tangent of 2x plus 3 times 2dx. And you'll notice that here I have 2dx and here I have 2dx. So this is going to get replaced with du. So I take that out and replace this with du right here. Also you'll notice that I have u is equal to 2x plus 3. So I take my 2x plus 3 and I replace it with u into my original integral. And what we have is a function times its derivative. This is a much easier thing for us to integrate. So integrate tan u du. And this is one of our reference ones. You can look this up on a reference sheet. It's a recognizable one. The integral of tan u du is equal to minus the natural log of cosine u plus c. Uh, if you were not able to find on a reference sheet, here's a little hint for you. You can rewrite the tangent of u as sine u over cosine u. And remember that the derivative of cosine is minus the sine. So we're real close to having a derivative over its original function. And when you have a derivative over its original function, that's the natural log. So that's how we came up with this uh, answer of negative natural log of cosine u plus c. The final thing we do is substitute the expression back in for u. So recall that u is equal to 2x plus 3. So I replace u with the original 2x plus 3. And that's how we get our final expression, the nat minus the natural log of the cosine of 2x plus 3 plus c. And as a check, you can differentiate this and see if you get this integral up here.